What's up guys, welcome to another video. My name is Ryan Roots and I'm a vintage t-shirt seller and collector. I started out as a collector for myself and eventually I got into buying and reselling quality vintage t-shirts. So in today's video, a lot of people always ask me what are some of the favorite pieces that I have in my personal collection. So that's what today's video is gonna be about. I went through my collection and I pulled out, I'm not sure exactly how many I pulled out, um, but every shirt that I'm going to show you today means something to me. It's important to me. Vintage for a lot of people is very personal and keep in mind I am a 90s kid so I was born in 1988. Grew up in the 90s so the things that are cool to me or important to me not necessarily going to be the same for, for you. But that's okay. That's what's so cool about vintage is that there's a wide range of things you can collect and what I like is going to be different from what you like. But before I jump into my personal collection, I thought it would be cool to start today's video off with a giveaway. So here is a vintage 90s Jimi Hendrix shirt and I am going to give this shirt away in today's video. It's on a Hanes Ultra Weight Extra Large tag. It is single stitch. It is a beautiful shirt. Really cool graphic. I decided to give this one away because one of the first like super cool vintage t-shirts that I thrifted, found in the thrift store, was an all over print Jimi Hendrix shirt. So has a little bit of meaning to me, um, but all you have to do to get entered to win this shirt is one, you must be subscribed to our YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. Um, two, hit the thumbs up button on this video. And then three, Leave a comment letting me know what is your favorite shirt from today's video. And then in the next video, I'll announce, I'll do it on a like a random comment picker and I'll announce who wins the 90s Jimi Hendrix shirt. Hey, by the way, if you hear um, little noises in the background, we're in our warehouse, our dogs are here, we, we bring our dogs to work. So my French Bulldog is um, on the beanbag right in front of me and she's sleeping and she snores. So if you hear that, I'm sorry, but you know, that is what it is. Okay, one other thing that I wanted to announce as well is that we have an upcoming uh, rap tea show on Whatnot. Um, Whatnot is, a, is an app you can download. I'll leave a link in the description of today's video, but on December 1st, we're doing an all rap tea show. And I have one of the, I think one of the coolest rap tea collections out there right now. Um, and I wanna give credit where credit is due. I got most of this collection, I bought all at once from Silk Money Vintage on Instagram. I'll pop up his uh, profile over here. But on December 1st, we are gonna be auctioning off some insane rap tees, some stuff that you probably haven't seen before, like this shirt, for example, this Junior Mafia bootleg rap tee, crazy, crazy piece. There's gonna be Memorial rap tees, Tupac and Biggie. This is probably one of the crazier rap tees that I have. This will not be in the show. Um, this is probably staying in the collection, but it's an Easy e Memorial shirt. I believe it was given out at his funeral. Pretty crazy piece. But like I said, this is one of the best collections, I think, of legitimate rap tees. And a lot of them will be going up for sale this December 1st on Whatnot. And again, do me a favor and um, go give Silk Money Vintage a follow. Crazy Wu-Tang shirt. Go give them a follow. A lot of these came from Silk Money and I like to give credit where credit is due. Okay, now let's jump into my personal collection. Um, I'm gonna start out with this on the XL Fruit of the Loom tag. If you remember the movie Coneheads, this is my favorite Coneheads piece. It is front and back, trademarked and licensed 1993. I remember when this movie came out and I remember sitting there and watching it over and over again with my parents. They loved it. I loved it. It's just, again, one of those 90s kid memories and I think this is the best Coneheads piece. It's in great condition as well. Fits really nice, so. Yeah, that's the first piece we'll start with. Next up, when I was a kid, I was a massive, massive fan of Mike Tyson. And this is one of the best Mike Tyson tees out there. One memory that really sticks out is, um, I remember when I was a kid that we went over to my dad's friend's house and they had rented this, um, this like big screen TV for the Tyson Holyfield fight. And I remember watching that fight and just being like awestruck at how how powerful these boxers were. And um, it was just so cool, because that kind of like, um, I, I wrestled in high school, I've done MMA, I've done striking, but it kind of like was the first real exposure that I had to, to fighting, to, um, to physical combat. So I thought it was cool. Tyson's always been one of my favorites, so 
that's a cool shirt in my collection. Next up, as I'm sure a lot of you know, I'm a, I'm a big Grateful Dead t-shirt collector. I love Grateful Dead tees. I actually like the Grateful Dead tees more than the music. I get that question a lot. I don't, I don't hate Grateful Dead music. It's not my favorite music. I think it's good, uh, but I like the graphics and the artwork and the different artists that have put their art on Grateful Dead tees. And that's what I like the most. So I am a big Grateful Dead t-shirt collector and these are some of the most sought after. These bootleg Dead Headland tees are very, very hard to come by. I have three of them, um, two different tie-dyes. This particular one was actually printed by the artist and then the tie-dye on this one was added at a later stage. This one was tie-dyed by the original artist, the Deadhead Land artist. And then this one is the only long sleeve, untie-dyed Deadhead Land shirt that I've ever seen. And it's like brand new, basically, dead stock on that Onita tag. So I think I've had like six Deadhead Land tees total. Um, I still have three of them. I'm probably gonna sell this long sleeve one at some point just because it doesn't fit me that great. These two I'm keeping for a bit, but yeah, really cool graphics. Some of my favorite graphics on Grateful Dead t-shirts. Oh, by the way, I am gonna show some more like expensive higher end shirts, but I'm also gonna show some shirts that are not expensive. They just mean a lot to me. One thing that I did wanna say is that vintage in general, like the vintage community, it can be very toxic. When I first started getting heavy, heavy into buying t-shirts, there were a few people that were not that excited about it. <laughs> uh, so with vintage, sometimes there's like, there's like a barrier of entry for new vintage collectors. And I wasn't new by any means. I've been personally collecting vintage for years. Uh, but when I started heavily selling vintage, a lot of people didn't really like that. So I, I say that to say, you don't have to buy expensive t-shirts, just buy what you like. You don't have to collect what everybody else is collecting. And you don't have to listen to these people that tell you what to do. If you want to get into vintage, if you want to start collecting, if you want to start building your, you know, your collection in vintage, just do it. And also know that there are some amazing people in the vintage community. It just takes time to, you know, weed through the, the assholes and, <laughs> and find the people that are, um, genuine and and nice but they are out there so yeah anyway here's another cool piece <laughs> um, this is a vintage mosquito head shirt this is I'm sure a lot of you know this show in living color Jamie Foxx as Wanda on the front of it this thing is probably the best condition mosquito head shirt that I've ever had um, it's one of the cleanest that I've ever seen no holes or anything like that no repairs these shirts because of the way that they were made do tend to get really thin and start to get holes and deteriorate so this one's in great condition on that nice Hanes uh, XL tag again another fun show that I watched as a kid um, the Waynes family obviously was big in this one. Uh, Jim Carrey was a writer on the show as well, and Jim Carrey is one of my favorite um, actors and comedians. So it's a cool piece. It's, it's definitely one that's up there in price. It's worth thousands of dollars, um, but this one is gonna stay in my collection for a little while. Another one that's kind of personal to me that means a lot, I am a massive fan of the Red Hot Chili Peppers to the point where I have a lyric from Scar Tissue tattooed across my chest. It says, I'll make it to the moon if I have to crawl. Um, I remember, you know, when I was a, a like 20, was I 20? I was 19 or 20 years old. Um, I packed up the car and I drove from Tampa, Florida to LA, to California, moved out there with three fr friends. And like when we got to California, Californication was playing and it's just such a good memory. Even though my memories in California weren't the best, that little memory of the music really, really brings me back to good times. So anyway, I love the Red Hot Chili Peppers. This shirt in particular is an, it's an ultra rare shirt, um, but it's one of my favorites because it's Red Hot Chili Peppers on the front, but also it's got with special guest Nirvana on the back, which is insane to have Red Hot Chili Peppers on the front. And then Nirvana was just a special guest at that point on the tour, on this Red Hot Chili Peppers tour. So very few of these t-shirts exist and it's pretty rare to find one that's a decent size. So I actually collect Red Hot Chili Peppers t-shirts. Um, this is one of the rarer ones, but if you ever find any um, super rare vintage Red Hot Chili Pepper shirts, please reach out to me because I will more than likely buy them for myself. Okay, so another one that means a lot to me. Uh, first of all, rest in peace, Robin Williams. Uh, this movie, one of my favorite movies growing up, Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, my dad absolutely loved this movie. So this one holds a special place in my heart. 
but this is a Mrs. Doubtfire oh, crew neck. So I have this shirt, like this can't. Robin Williams piece, and then this one I just got in recently. It's a big shirt, but it's one that I've never seen before. And it is a shirt from one of Robin Williams' stand-up tours. I actually don't know exactly what tour this is from. It's the first time that I've ever seen this graphic on a t-shirt. It is dated down here, 2000, but I can't see exactly what year it is. It's like kind of blurry. But what an amazing piece um, and what an icon in comedy, Robin Williams. It's a sad story, uh, but man, what a great guy when he was alive. Another special piece to me, this is on the Liquid Blue XL tag. This is a Grateful Dead MC Escher shirt. And the main reason why this one is so special to me is, like I said, I'm a big Grateful Dead t-shirt collector, but this shirt came from, um, shout out Mike, Vintage Pimps. I'll pop up his Instagram over here as well. But Mike was one of the people who, again, when I first started getting big into buying a lot of vintage t-shirts, Mike was one of the people that was just the most genuine person in vintage. He was never, um, he was never arrogant. He never had an ego. He was always willing to help. And he's been in the vintage game for much longer than I have. And he's, you know, he's been willing to help and teach and, um, Anyway, he's just a friend. He's a really good friend and he gave me this shirt. So I love you, Mike. You're awesome, man. And we've done a lot of business together, um, but I really do consider Mike a one of my true friends in the vintage community. And like I said, that's hard to find sometimes. So this shirt will absolutely never leave my collection. It will stay with me forever. All right, next one up. Like I said, I'm gonna show you a lot of shirts that mean something to me, but might not be worth a ton of money, and that's okay. This next shirt is a Lady Smith Black Mombazo shirt. I was born in South Africa. My mom was born in South Africa. My dad immigrated there from Scotland when he was four years old. A lot of my family is from South Africa, and I remember listening to Lady Smith Black Mombazo. My parents loved this band. They would always put it on during Christmas as well. It's just one of those bands that when I hear the music, it really brings back like, super, super powerful memories for me of, you know, living in Africa and then um, also living with my parents and, and learning from them and learning about like the Zulu culture, even though we're not Zulu, obviously, they still made it a point to teach us about um, South Africa and about the roots that go deep in South Africa. So anyway, really cool shirt, one of my favorites in my collection. Love the back of this one as well. Lady Smith, Black Mombazo, Learn, Zulu. Super cool. I'm gonna show you these next two together. This is a Mortal Kombat shirt. Grew up playing this game, loved it. Um, this one is like bleach dyed after the fact by somebody. Get over here. But they did such a good job with this bleach dye and this thing is like nice and soft fits really well, so love that shirt. Video game tees, you know, grew up playing a lot of video games, so love that one. And then this shirt, man, I think this is the best Small Soldiers graphic. This one's from 1998, I believe. Yeah, 1998 Universal City Studios. Um, love the graphic on this one. If you've never seen this movie, you should watch it. It's a pretty cool movie. It's one of those iconic movies that I will always remember. So I just got this one recently, and I'm gonna keep it for a while too. This next shirt in my collection is actually not vintage. Um, it's 2018, so not that old at all, but I wanted to show it anyway uh, because Anthony Bourdain, one of my favorite people ever. Um, another sad story. I know there's a lot of there's a lot of shirts in my collection where um, the people died too young, which which sucks. But Anthony Bourdain loved his books, loved his shows, Sometimes just thought he was an amazing guy. And after he passed and away, I, I, I actually went on eBay and I bought um, a couple of these T-shirts. I've never seen another one. It's an Anthony Bourdain memorial shirt, and I love the quote on this shirt. Um, it says, "Your body is not a temple." It is an amusement park, enjoy the ride. I thought that is like quintessential Anthony Bourdain. Um, he was hard on his body, but he lived a, a crazy cool life. So even though it's not vintage, still one of my favorite shirts in my collection. So growing up in Florida, obviously we have a lot of theme parks. Um, so a couple of theme park shirts to show you. This one is the Star Tours ride, Disney Star Tours ride on that nice Disney tag. I actually got this shirt, shout out to Aussie Thrifters. This one came from Australia, funny enough. And I've had it for uh, a few years now. It's always stayed in my collection. Love the big, bold, all over print graphic on this one. It really, really pops. Nice and soft, fits well, so yeah, love this shirt. And then another theme park shirt. We live just outside of Tampa. 
We go to Busch Gardens often, we have passes, and this is a vintage I Survived Montu shirt. One of the best roller coasters, and this graphic is just, it's insane. I don't know if they would be able to make this graphic again at Busch Gardens. It's pretty, uh, it's a pretty hardcore graphic with the eyeballs like popping out of his head. Um, but I love this shirt, I wear it to Busch Gardens often. And then along those same lines, my favorite Indiana Jones t-shirt. There's a lot of really cool Indiana Jones shirts. This one is 1992 Lucas Films on that uh, Fruit of the Loom tag. I got this shirt before the hype kind of started in uh, like crazy all over print vintage t-shirts. So I believe I paid like $100 for this shirt. It went straight into my personal t-shirts. I wear it often, I love this shirt. And like I said, one of the coolest graphics dated 1992 Lucas Films. This is one of the shirts when I wear it, I get like the most compliments on, I would say. A lot of people, they see this graphic and they just go, wow, that's a cool shirt. This next piece on that nice Fruit of the Loom XL tag, this piece is in my collection. And again, it will never leave my collection because um, when I first started collecting Grateful Dead t-shirts, this is the one that everybody was like, ah, oh, man, I really want that shirt on that Fruit of the Loom XL tag the grateful dead standing on the moon big bears graphic license to the mountain this shirt in particular is special to me because um, this is a shirt that's very expensive it's pretty sought after it's hard to find in a you know in decent condition and for a good price and it was one of the shirts that um, when i first started collecting grateful dead tees i was like i really want that shirt but i'm not paying a thousand dollars for it i cannot justify that so for like a year and a half i searched for this shirt for a good price and I finally found one for a good price and I, I bought it. I think I paid, I want to say I paid like $350 for it, which is still a lot of money. And at that time it was a lot of money for me, uh, but you know, well worth it now. This is one that I think this is one that will continue to go up in value. Cool graphic, beautiful shirt. It's been reprinted a lot or, or like faked a lot, um, but it's pretty easy to tell the fakes apart. One way you can tell is on this little bear right here. If you zoom in on the fakes, his face will typically be blurry because like they don't have the best print. And on the real ones, on the original ones, it's, it's nice and clear. You can see his face clearly. Really cool one, uh, Dead Space. Dead Space, Grateful Dead Tea. Okay, and I'm gonna finish with these last two. This is a cheetah endangered species pullover, 90s pullover, that one. And then this one, I know they're they're not similar at all. The, uh, the skeletons doing the dirty fashion victim shirt. But I'm finishing with these two because this pullover came from Ali's dad. He bought it in the 90s. And this t-shirt came from Ali's mom. She bought it in the 90s for herself. So both of these shirts, very sentimental. They've had them since the 90s. They bought them for themselves and they gifted them to me. So love you, mom and dad. Thank you so much. Love these shirts a lot. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And again, I'm gonna leave you with this shirt is up for grabs for free. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment letting me know what was your favorite shirt that you saw in today's video. I'm gonna do a random comment picker and give away this beautiful, beautiful Jimi Hendrix shirt. And then also, click on the link in the description of today's video to go and bookmark the show, our What Not Show on December 1st, an all rap tea show. Some of the most desirable rap teas that have ever hit the market will be available in that what not show so if you're a collector or if you would like to come watch the show and support please come out december 1st i think it's at 7 p.m eastern time and thank you all again remember to be kind to people coming into the community and be kind to everybody thank you so much love you all i'm ryan ritz later Bye.